Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Solax power inverter, and you can see this one's operating at the moment. It's uh, just starting up, or trying to start up. But this one's been coming up with a fault, which is probably going to throw very shortly. So at the moment the green light's on, like it should be working correctly. You see how that output is jumping around all over the place as well. It should be. Yeah, we, we've got uh, good clear skies here, so that should be staying constant rather than jumping around all over the place like it is currently. The green light's on for the inverter, but when there's a fault with the system, the red light comes on just like this. And you see the inverter's coming up with a DCI OCP fault. So the DCI OCP fault here means that the, the inverter's detected that DC injection is over current into the system. Now what you can try and do if your inverters have an issue like this is try a reboot of the system which you would uh, follow the shutdown procedure such as this one here, turn off the solar supply main switch and AC isolator. Realistically you can do either or, the AC isolator is right here so I'm just going to throw that off. Then turn off the PVRA isolators located next to the input terminals of the inverter which are over here in our case, we've got two so we're just going to throw those off and we're just going to wait for the inverter to turn off altogether. See at the moment it's coming up with the grid lost, which is completely normal, seeing it's just lost the grid. Wait for that to go completely blank. And then we'll try starting up the inverter again. So it's just going blank, we're just gonna wait a few more seconds. And then we're just gonna throw it all back on now the startup procedure is nowhere near as, as important as a shutdown procedure so you just as long as you turn everything back on so we're just going to throw the AC back on here AC on and then both the DCs as well and wait for the inverter to start back up again so it's going to go through its startup process which uh, will take 60 seconds from now you see it's counting down 58, 57 And so if after you've attempted the, the reboot of the system and you're still having the same issue, the best thing to do is get in contact with Solax if it's still under warranty. If it is outside of warranty, then, it's, then you're pretty much going to be looking at replacing the inverter if it constantly happens after the reboot. So if you're on the, in South East Queensland or on the Gold Coast or Brisbane area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. If you're somewhere else in the world, I recommend getting in touch with a local solar accredited electrician to assist you further. So let's just see here, we're just doing the countdown. Near the end of it now. Okay, so we're operational again. But just, let's just see how that goes. You can see that output still jumping all over the place. So it's up to 340, then down, up and down, when we've got beautiful clear skies. So it certainly shouldn't be doing that. It should be pretty constant. So that's an issue right there. And you can see it's done it again, DCI CP fault. Now this inverter is under warranty, so we're going to uh, replace it under warranty. Uh, but if it's outside of warranty, then you are realistically looking at a replacement inverter. So. Like I said, if you're in South East Queensland or the Gold Coast or Brisbane area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. If you're elsewhere, I'd recommend getting in touch with a local solar accredited electrician for further assistance. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.